Hey, hey everybody, welcome back. Today is day 15 of the uh, Shabby Creep 24 uh, challenge hosted by Release the Crafton. And today my prompt is something in the attic. So that was really a fun uh, thing for me to play with. And I think I have figured out what I want to do for that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to um, build a stairway up to the attic. Yes, this is what we're gonna try, fingers crossed. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I cut this tag out of um, some paper that I had that kind of looks like uh, an old wallpaper that you might see in an older house, okay? Another thing that I did then, off camera, because, you know, I wanted to make sure I could do this. <laughs> I cut another piece of paper, and let me put this on here so you can see how it looks. This is the, uh, the perspective that I'm going for. So all I did was I cut a piece of paper that was a square, roughly the size of the tag, and made it into this kind of elongated uh, obelisk kind of shape. And that is what I hope to build the stairs upon. I think it's too long. I think I'm gonna have to cut it down, but that's gonna be the stairs up to the door to the attic. I don't know exactly what I'm going to build the door out of yet. It's going to be an adventure. We're, we're all going to do it together. My granddaughter and I are really into building dollhouses. And we have purchased quite a few items for the dollhouses, but we're also making a lot of the items. And one of the things that we have found to be fantastic for a lot of different things, furniture, flooring, all kinds of things, uh, are different size popsicle sticks. So these are just your regular craft size, and these are coffee stirrer size. And those are going to be our stairs that lead up to uh, the door. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end up cutting uh the top of this because if we have the door way up there that's it's it's just too high up so i'm going to end up cutting this and i'm just going to measure about how big we want our staircase to be and it looks like after we cut the ends off we can have a staircase that's about right here roughly and if you don't have popsicle six no worries, you could probably just use paper. Um, I am just really enjoying playing with the popsicle sticks. And yes, I did get a new tool because, you know, I always have to have the, the newest tools. It's this little bad chomper boy right here. You can get them on Amazon for about 20 bucks. They cut through um, wood fairly quickly. As you can see there, uh, these are gonna be my stairs. So I'll use this to cut them. Uh, these are a little bit harder, believe it or not, to cut. But there you go. So I am going to Distress this because this is leading up to our door. I'm going to distress this a little bit, glue it down, and then we will start going from there. Just don't want any white edges showing up anywhere. Kind of illusion, kind of take away from the illusion a little bit if we don't grungy it up a little bit once i taught my granddaughter how to grungy things up i tell you that little girl 
has gone nuts. When we make our dollhouses, we're making a little witch cottage right now. And she is so excited about uh, grungying things up. And she comes home from school and she says, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this cool idea that I had. And, <laughs> and it's usually about uh, how to make things grungy. And um, I let her go with it, you know. She's, she knows what she's doing. She's a good little artist. Her favorite thing is painting. She loves to paint. And my son got her a really nice art set with a lot of paints in it for Christmas. And she is just having a blast with that as well. So there we go. I'm just gonna center that on there. That looks pretty good. It doesn't need to be exact because we're gonna put our uh, handrails, I guess. We are calling them right along the side of that. <clears throat> and we also uh, repainted and put down a new floor in my craft room here, finally. I have one more piece of furniture that I need to purchase to make this final and fairly what I want. Uh, there's some white cabinets in here, cabinetry that was, they were here when we bought the house. We just kept them. And she, I said, you want to paint something? Paint the cabinets. So she, every once in a while, will come over and paint. She has a castle on one. Uh, she painted I love you on another. <laughs> it's just cute. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to mark on both of these. we go it's gonna be right yep right about there so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark those off and cut these if you don't have one of these tools uh, scissors do work They do, they do, and I'll show you here. Might even be a little easier on some people, I don't know. I cut a bunch of them the other day for a floor, and oh man, I had a bruise right there. But the floor is looking good, so. All right. think we're going to be good with this. Alrighty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stain them with this uh, antique wax that I have. You could use paint, obviously, and after the uh, stain dries a little bit, I'm probably going to just dry brush some black onto it just to age it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to cut everything and then I will paint everything off camera because, you know, you don't want to watch me like do that. That's boring. But if those are there, then I'm going to start here with my steps. And I, whew, I really hope that this works. I want to make it as 3D as possible. That is my goal is after I paint all of these is to attach them and I don't you probably can't see it that well on that way but anyway I, I do want to attach them we'll see if it works <laughs> all right I'm gonna cut the rest of these I'm just gonna measure like so and then cut them we'll see how many I can fit in there and um, like I say I'm gonna uh, wax them up I'll be right back you don't need to watch me do that and watch it wait for to wait for it to dry so I'll be right back all right I've got everything stained kind of the way that I want it I love painting these popsicle sticks because if you put too much on it you can just kind of dab it off sometimes 
But anyway, I'm gonna glue them on. And you know, the more I think about it, the more I think this is gonna look like more of one of those little attic ladders more than steps, but that's okay. Uh, it's still okay for me. So just putting some glue, regular old tacky glue. And just kind of line it up down here. You can do whatever you think looks best, of course. And, you know, I keep thinking about, you know, well, what is in the attic? Because the prompt is uh, very generic, you know, it's just something in the attic. So, what do you think is in the attic? We lived in a house when I was growing up that had something in the attic that my mother was terrified of. It didn't bother me. We had bats in our attic. All right, so here are the little slats that uh, I've painted. I've painted a couple of, of uh, the coffee sticks here. So this one, I think I think we'll just end up putting right there and then I'll just keep kind of going down and uh, we'll see how many we can get out of here. All right, so I have got all of my slats, staircase, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, I've got them all cut. So I'm just gonna quickly glue these on. And while I was cutting them, I was wondering what I should do for the actual door to our attic. And since I have so many of these coffee stirrer thingies, I thought that maybe I could do a I don't even know if I'm in camera. I'm so sorry. I could do a uh, little door frame. Around a secret door. Or not, well, maybe not a secret door, but a door. But what is behind the door? Uh, I think we're going to leave that up to the imagination what I think. So what I did was I cut just a regular piece of paper out of some, uh, you know, you get a lot of this wood grain type paper in paper pads. That's all that is, is just a square from that. And uh, like I say, I have another coffee stirrer that I painted. So I think can build a, f a little bit of a frame around this and then it can open to reveal whatever is behind the door. But again, I'm not going to put anything behind it just yet. I'm not entirely sure what we want behind that door. And maybe it's just not going to be there when you open it anyway. Maybe you have to uh, wait and it's going to jump out at you. These things happen in an attic. Yeah, we had bats in ours, like I was saying. Um, my mother was terrified of bats. I thought that they were fascinating. I've always liked bats, you know, weird things like that. Um, then, of course, as I got older and I found out the good that bats do for us as far as eating insects and things like that, I thought, wow, I wonder why she was so scared of them. But, you know, there was, there's always that uh, old wives tale about how they are going to jump into your hair and get tangled in your hair and just, just odd stuff like that. And I think that was what her problem was, was she was still listening to the old wise tales. 
Uh, let's see. These little nippers also have this cool thing where you can make spiffy little cuts, 45 degree angles and things like that. And so I think I did it on the wrong side. I know I could turn it over, but my pencil mark is there somewhere. There it is. And it's pretty spiffy because now you've got your perfect little angle. I hope that's popping up there. So I'm going to make two of those really quick. Of course, they have to be on the opposite sides. I'll get it together. I swear I will. There we go. Righty. All right, so here's one side. Here's the other, which is going to hold our door down. And then we just need to cut this longer piece. I don't know how people do not have shadows everywhere in their videos. I have lights in all different areas and it still just drives me nuts. Let's see, I'm going the wrong way again. There we go. Again, I know you could turn it around, but my brain doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. I liked uh, geometry, but it's still kind of uh, an interesting concept to me. <laughs> we can do something like that. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna glue this down and I think I'm going to put like a little bit of string or something here so that we have a way to open the door too. So let me do that. I'll be right back. All right, we're getting ready to wrap this up. So I have my little door frame. Kind of cute. We have one of those in this house. It's kind of an older house that I live in now. And it's one of those pull downs that sometimes you see in like scary movies. And um, it's kind of freaky. Every time I have to walk underneath it, I'm kind of afraid that it's going to fall down. It hasn't. Um, <laughs> but it's kind of freaky. Anybody else have that? Because, yeah. I will say that I'm very happy that our attic is, you know, nice and clean. We've had workers up there, and they, they tell us how, how nice it is up there. not afraid to get up there so that's nice I just don't want it to fall on my head I don't know what it is that keeps it up there except for like sheer luck I guess I don't know okay anyway I've blabbered so much in this video <laughs> all right so here we go so here's my tag of going up and what is in the attic. Something is in the attic. You get to put whatever you'd like up here. What you think is in the attic, all right? Oh, tag me, I wanna see what you guys do, okay? All right, thank you so, so much. I know I've just been all over the place in this video, but this was really kind of fun for me to just kind of make something up kind of on the fly like this and just see where it takes me. So I hope you get something out of this. Maybe you are inspired to make your own uh, kind of textured 3D tag. I kind of like that it's got some depth to it. I think that's awesome. So let me know what you do 
with yours and we will see you next time. I'm going to tag uh, all of the creators tomorrow uh, for the, the, uh, the remainder of the month. I've got one more coming up. I wish I could tell you what day, but I don't know right now. But <laughs> we'll figure it out together. All right. Thanks so much. And we will see you soon. Bye.